Good afternoon. Today we are going to show some love for our feet in Give It Ten. So how often do you walk outside bare feet? How often do you stand on gravel or stones or stand or maybe how often do you take a walk in the grass? Just hoping there's no dog poo on the grass. <laughs> and just feel the grass beneath your feet, feel the rocks from wood, different textures. My challenge to you today is to spend even just 10 seconds of walking on a different surface, but I don't want to focus on my feet too much because they're not the prettiest feet and I haven't got any, um, I haven't got any toenail varnish on or anything and I can't spin this around while I'm talking let's um let's do that and see oh, in fact I can look at, I can look at that in the um in the uh in the window in the kitchen and see that you are oh I've got my hand in the way there you go and you see you're looking at me right so uh we're talking about feet so what happens these days is that we spend our lives encasing our feet sorry Maggie Moo completely ignoring you hello baby we spend our lives encasing our feet in shoes and slippers so we spend all day in shoes and it's great that so many people are wearing you know trainers these days and you're not sort of stuttering around on on high heels and squishing your toes and feet um into high heels ladies um, especially, but also, I hope you can still see me. I can't actually see because I've got the camera pointed the wrong way. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Shoes. Yeah, we spend uh, our lives with our, sh our feet encased. And what happens is we kind of lose connection. Our brains kind of lose that connection through our feet of where we are. And we, we lose that feedback from our feet in terms of, um, you know, the terrain we're on, the temperature that we're working on, all the little sensors in our feet. This is why reflexology is so, um, uh, it is, people love reflexology because the, our feet are really sensitive places. And of course we, we wrap them up in trainers and we wear layers of um, socks and foam underneath our feet. And our, and our feet kind of, our brains kind of lose that connection with our feet in terms of knowing where we are in, in, in space and time. It sounds a bit weird, but this can quite often lead to back problems because we've lost connection through our body, um, because we have lost connection with our feet. And I, I can, um, uh, now where was it that I was reading? I can't remember now, but I read somewhere that if you spend, you know, just a minute or two, 10 minutes, 10 seconds, remember, give it 10, of your feet on a different surface that it can reduce lower back pain because we're reintroducing those neural connections through our feet with our brain to know where we are we think more about our posture so my give it 10 for you today um, is to go outside in bare feet walk on the grass walk on the gravel walk on the stone um, and and get out of wearing shoes all the time because quite often say we walk in the house we put on slippers or flip-flops and of course they're really bad because in flip-flops and in um, slippers quite often there's no real support or there's no real um, you have to like clench your toes to grip them onto your feet and quite often especially in flip-flops and depending on the slippers you've got that um, reduces your uh, um, <laughs> what am I saying um, when your toes are crunched up on that shoe, you're not flexing your foot properly because your toes are crunched up. So you end up with this weird walking gait, uh, which can affect your posture as well. And remember, you know, where you have pain, as I've said before, is quite often not where the issue is. So if you have pain in your back, it could be coming from your feet. It could be coming from your knees. It could be coming from your hips. It could be coming from your shoulders. If you have pain in your shoulders, it could be coming from your back. It could be coming from your ankles. It could be coming from your feet. So what we want to do really is try and reconnect ourselves with our body and re-engage with our feelings and our senses and our, and our you know, especially through our feet and our, and our um, mindfulness of where we are in kind of space and time. Now I'm conscious that I'm waffling a little bit here, but hopefully you get uh, the, the, the gist of what I'm saying. So you give it 10 today is to get out there in bare feet, 10 seconds at least on different surfaces in your garden. Um, around the house, even on carpet, on wood, on stone, and just try and reconnect and get some feeling back in your feet. Uh, and, the, you know, that's another big, if, uh, if anyone's into the whole barefoot thing, this is why the barefoot thing is, is you know, so big now and Vibram Souls, um, not Vibram, is it Vibram Souls? No, Vibram, the thick ones, aren't they? 
um, it, the, yeah, the barefoot soles that you get um, from the trainers. I can't remember the name of the trainers now. I've loads of pairs of them. I'll have to dig them out later. <laughs> anyway, those really thin soled shoes. And you sometimes see people running in them as well, so they can really, their bodies can get that sensory feedback. They wear the, 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 the thin soles to protect their feet from, you know, cuts and scrapes, but actually they're really sensing where they are. They're feeling their way. Um, and there's loads of re reports to suggest that that really supports the body, helps with posture, helps with lower back pain, helps in, you know, pain all over the body by reconnecting the feet with the ground. How we were evolved, how we were designed, how our body was originally designed is to have that neural connection with the ground um, and through our bodies into our brain to know where we are and to get that sensory feedback. Right, I hope that all makes sense and I will see you all again tomorrow for another Give It 10 to Lou.